Lee Marvin was an American film and television actor. Born in New York in 1924, he began his acting career on stage before transitioning to the big screen. He is best known for his roles in Western and war films, including The Dirty Dozen, Paint Your Wagon, and Cat Ballou, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor. Marvin was known for his rugged, tough guy persona, and his distinct voice made him a popular choice for character roles. Despite his on-screen reputation, Marvin was described as a warm and generous person off-camera. He passed away in 1987 at the age of 63. Lee Marvin was a man who defied the typical appearance of a Hollywood actor. Despite his rugged and rough exterior, he was one of the most talented and sought-after tough guy character actors in the film industry. However, his personal life was not as smooth as his acting career. In 1970, Lee Marvin got married, but his former lover Michelle Triola was not happy about it. The couple had lived together for six years and Michelle had even legally changed her name to Marvin. At first, she was content with the monthly support she received from Lee, but when the payment stopped, she decided to take legal action. Michelle reached out to Marvin Mitchelson, a well-known and flamboyant divorce lawyer in Los Angeles who often represented Hollywood celebrities. Mitchelson filed a lawsuit, claiming that Lee and Michelle were essentially married from 1964 to 1970, despite the absence of a marriage license. The case made headlines across America and sparked discussions about the growing trend of unmarried couples living together. Michelle Marvin, who had once given up her singing and acting career to become the actor Lee Marvin's cook, companion, and confidant, decided to sue him for half of what he had earned during their relationship. She believed she was entitled to $1.8 million, including $100,000 for the loss of her own career. Her attorney, Marvin Mitchelson, announced that he was seeking palimony for Michelle, which meant alimony from a former partner. This legal battle was groundbreaking and resulted in the popular usage of the term palimony. Mitchelson's main challenge was to prove that Lee Marvin had broken an implicit agreement to share his assets with Michelle. However, the initial attempts to sue were rejected by the courts, as California had abolished the concept of common law marriage in 1895. Despite this initial setback, the case was heard again on appeal and the California Supreme Court endorsed the principle of seeking palimony in 1976. This decision allowed Michelle's case to be heard and sparked similar lawsuits in 15 other states. By the time the case of Marvin v. Marvin arrived in court in 1979, over 1,000 palimony suits were pending in California alone. The legal battle between Michelle Marvin and Lee Marvin had captured the attention of the public, as it held implications for the rights of unmarried couples. The courtroom was filled with spectators eager to witness the proceedings. Lee Marvin's lawyers attempted to have the case dismissed, but their motion was denied by Judge Arthur K. Marshall in January 1979. The judge believed that the only difference between the Marvins and a married couple was the lack of a marriage license and a clergyman. During the trial, Michelle Marvin made her case claiming that Lee Marvin had told her early in their relationship that what I have is yours and what you have is mine. She felt that this statement, along with their six years together, added up to an implicit marriage contract. The couple had maintained joint bank accounts and were accepted as husband and wife in Hollywood social circles. Michelle presented a packet of love letters from Lee Marvin as evidence and emotionally recalled having several abortions at the actor's request, as he did not want to become a parent. Lee Marvin was in court, facing allegations from his former lover, Michelle Triola. She claimed that Lee had promised to share his assets with her and had even changed his name to Gary Cooper in a joke. However, Lee testified that his declarations of love were just sexual endearments and denied ever making any promises about his assets. He said that the name change was entirely Michelle's decision and he had tried to talk her out of it. Lee's lawyers also stated that if he had ever intended to marry Michelle during their six-year relationship, he would have done so. In a dramatic turn of events, attorney Mitchelson successfully motioned for Lee to pay $1 million in punitive damages for the alleged fraud of telling Michelle he loved her without meaning it. Michelle's claims of abandoning a promising career for Lee's sake were also debunked during the trial. Testimony from nightclub owners and singer Mel Torme appraised her talents as mediocre at best. Michelle claimed that she had turned down a role in the Broadway musical Flower Drum Song for Lee's sake, but dancer Gene Kelly denied ever offering her the part. 
After an 11-week trial, Judge Marshall made a ruling in the case of Michelle Marvin v. Lee Marvin. Michelle had claimed that there was an oral or implicit contract for her to share Lee's assets, but the judge found that she failed to prove her case. However, based on the legal principle of remedy, the judge awarded Michelle $104,000 to help her re-educate herself and acquire new job skills. This amount, equivalent to $1,000 a week for two years, was calculated based on Michelle's highest weekly salary as a singer before she became Lee's companion. The judge's decision was a unique one, as it did not fall under the conventional alimony or property division in divorces. In his written ruling, the judge stated that recognizing equal division of property without a marriage contract would mean that the court would automatically consider each unmarried person living together to be entitled to half of the property bought with the earnings of the other. He stopped short of likening his decision to traditional divorce arrangements. Judge Marshall was of the opinion that granting equal division of property to unmarried couples would be too close to acknowledging the abolished concept of common law marriage. Despite this, both sides in the case of Michelle Marvin v. Lee Marvin claimed victory. The only apparent loser was attorney Mitchelson, who had taken the case on a contingency fee basis, receiving a percentage of the expected $1 million settlement. According to Time magazine, the years Mitchelson had invested in the case had earned him a mere $6.50 an hour, a fraction of his normal hourly rate. Mitchelson tried to increase the $104,000 award or, at the very least, have Lee Marvin pay Michelle's legal bills, but Judge Marshall rejected these requests. Mitchelson's only success in the case was establishing the right to file a palimony lawsuit, which tested the legal property rights of unmarried couples for the first time. In his ruling, the judge stated that this principle was established without costing the defendant any expense. Mitchelson also attempted to get the state of California to pay him $500,000 for his work, but this effort was unsuccessful. Observers were divided on whether Judge Marshall's ruling in the case of Michelle Marvin v. Lee Marvin set new legal guidelines for unmarried couples or if he had merely given an alimony payment under a different name. The ruling caused confusion and uncertainty among couples who lived together but were not married. In 1981, the California State Court of Appeals overturned the $104,000 award, stating that there was no legal basis for arriving at such a specific figure for their assets. The overturned ruling prompted couples to take action and protect themselves against future problems by having legally binding non-marital contracts drafted. In conclusion, the case of Michelle Marvin v. Lee Marvin generated much debate and discussion, leading to a greater awareness of the legal rights of unmarried couples. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.